What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna be looking at the cursey and specifically we're gonna be looking at um dark fay stage p7 p stands for play home region so i'm gonna take out ronda because she's causing my team to wipe because she's just built too hard just hits too hard if she gets a counter attack and she does get counter attacks a lot uh, so the real key being able to do this is having someone like archmage you need a champion that has AOE CC, and he's the real key to this. So um, we'll go through all the different champions you can use later on. And we're going to lock out um, our Archmage. And ideally, you want Archmage to be the first champion to go first. I've not um, specifically speed tuned this. It's been a long time since I used a Gala, so just had to check out what her AOE was. And now it's just a case of just attacking the boss. And we're just going to A1 it for now. And if we're lucky, we won't get messed up with the true fears. And we'll take out good old Gerald. And there we go. So let's just whack it in auto. So that was one of the issues I was having is that uh, in my Ronda's Masteries, she can counterattack. So that's something you want to avoid for this. But at the same time, you know, Ronda's such a great champion for Arena. Do I really want to remove counterattacks from her masteries? No, not really. Um, but yeah. But yeah, so it should be pretty straightforward. And the only things that can cause you to wipe are if one of your clones pops off and, you know, you get done over by True Fear. Um, ideally, what you could do is with Ugo is cleanse the True Fears. Um, but otherwise, you should be pretty good to go. So um, for the team, you know, obviously we've got Archmage, who's our CC. You want someone like Ugo that can cleanse. And also she does bring drop defense as well, which is really nice. Uh, Zagala is pretty good here as well because she does AOE attacks. But because most of the team's made up of um, magic champions, she's going to counter them and kill them easily. Um, Seer is pretty good for this as well because she does maximum HP, but she also brings a sleep as well. So if something does go wrong at the beginning, she can help put people to sleep. And uh my my um Gerald, he's not he's not built that well, actually. Um I think I don't think I think he might even be a little bit naked. Um, but he does hit really hard and he's a single target nuker, so he is actually a good option. But there's definitely way, way better champions we could bring in. It's just that I don't have them geared or, you know, they don't have masteries and, and all that good stuff. But yeah, I will go through all the factions and just talk you guys through all the different options that we can use. But um, yeah, so yeah, Gerard, he, he's definitely naked. That would explain why he's done no damage, but you know, if I just put a little bit of gear on him, he would clear this so quickly. Like, he does hit really, really hard. Surprisingly, Seer has done the most amount of damage. And Archmage actually did more damage than Zagala as well, which is interesting. But anyway, let's uh, check out the gear and masteries, and then I'll show you all the different teams or all the different champions that you can bring in. Okay, so here's my Ugo build. So in Perception and Immortal, um, Gloves, HP... Uh, accuracy on the chest and then speed on the boots uh, hp on the ring hp on the amulet and then resistance on the banner total stack 60k hp um 6.2k defense 247 speed and then 366 accuracy um masteries i, I still haven't chosen awakening for her i don't know what blessing would be best to be honest um i don't really use it that much to be honest i know she's great for hydra but personally <laughs> i'm not using her and um, she does have masteries built specifically for hydra i'm um, going into oppressor so oppressor is great because we've got a chance to keep increasing our tummy and it just keeps her really fast and you know it just means that we can go for our abilities really really quickly uh psycho revenge as well so if we take a big hit we've got a good chance of increasing our turn meter and again, it's all about just trying to get her to go really, really fast. So we could just, you know, either we're blocking, throwing out block buffs and decrease defense, 
and we're also cleansing as well so it's, and healing. So it's just great for the team. Uh, next on the list, we've got Seer, who is one of my best built champions. Um, obviously, Savage in Perception, great way to go of her. One of my best pair of gloves, so crit damage gloves, uh, accuracy on the chest, speed on the boots. Um, we've got an attack ring. Maybe I could just swap this out for like HP. Um, but yeah, crit damage on the amulet with subs in accuracy, and then an accuracy banner with subs in speed. So 43k HP, uh, 2.9k attack, 2k defense. Should probably try to bump up her defense, to be honest. Uh, 222 speed, so she's pretty fast. 100% crit rate, 278 uh, crit damage, and then 389 accuracy. Um, this is my build for Doom Tower, and I, that's why I like to have loads of accuracy on her, so we can strip the enemy if we need to. Gone for Crushing Ren for extra damage. Uh, and then mastery, she's got really, really specific mastery. So, so we've got a split going on in offense, uh, ruthless ambush just to do more damage on her A3 because that's what we're going to open up with. Uh, cycle of violence as well is great. So, if we do loads of damage with her A3, we can reduce the cooldown on that. And then you've got to take flawless execution um, for that extra crit damage just so we can, you know, pump out as much damage as possible. Okay, so here's Zagala. Um, so she's in Savage and a broken set. So crit damage gloves, attack percentage chest, speed on the boots, attack on the ring, crit damage on the amulet, and then accuracy on the banner. And you do want to have accuracy on her just so she can land that um, drop defense. So 35k HP, 4k attack, 191 speed, <laughs> not quite crit capped and then 251 crit damage, and then 205 accuracy. Again, I still haven't chosen Blessing with her. I just, I don't know. I feel like one star Blessing is not going to make a huge difference, but, you know, let me know in the comments Let me know in the comments below, guys, what are you guys running with? Uh, Mastery's not fully mixed out, and that is really, really important. I feel that um, for the Curse City, I'm going to try avoiding doing full masteries on every champion for every floor because if you can avoid it you should definitely do it because it's just going to help you a lot because otherwise you know think of the energy that you're going to waste trying to fully max out all these champions and next on the list we've got archmage great great champion by the way uh, you can actually use him on every single floor for doom tower for waves he's great for clearing uh, so we've got crit damage gloves Attack on the chest, speed on the boots, uh, HP on the ring, um, HP on the amulet, and then accuracy on the banner. So 42k HP, uh, 2.8k attack, 238 speed, crit capped, and 206 crit damage. Something really, really important on him is he needs to be um, crit capped, otherwise he won't land stuns. So... If you can't reach crit cap with crit damage gloves, swap them out for crit rate gloves. It's perfectly fine. And then 349 accuracy. Again, that's just for Doom Tower to make sure that we do land our stuns. I went for Crushing Rend on him just so we can do some more damage. And then Masteries, he's got this is just like really standard, uh, like dungeon boss Masteries. Um, so yeah, standard stuff going on, on the left hand side. And then sorry, the right-hand side, left-hand side, um, you know, crit rate, crit damage, survivability with life drinker, and then the rest is all about just taking damage, uh, and then, of course, taking Warmaster to do even more damage on the boss. And last but not least, we've got Garrard. So, um, yeah, I, he's actually a really good champion. I do like him, but I had to take his gloves and shields for someone else. Um, so, ideally, crit damage gloves, um, Attack percentage chest, speed on the boots, attack on the ring, crit damage on the amulet, and then attack on the banner. And this is a terrible banner. No subs, like no rolls in speed, no attack percentage either. So pretty awful banner, but I'm guessing this is this build's probably like three years old. It was the best that I had at the time. So 27k HP, 4.2k attack, 
That's quite a lot considering he's missing a lot of gear. Uh, very, very slow at 161 speed, 40% crit rate, 163 crit damage. I mean, if he definitely bumped up his gear, this guy can smack. I, I'm telling you now. He, I really like him. That even though he's not, he's not a great champion. There's something that's just lovable about Gerard. Uh, and yeah, masteries, um, great, great masteries. Um, sort of, almost, almost like, um, like an arena build for masteries. And taking Hell Smasher just to help us clear waves faster because that's what I was using him for. I was using him for waves um, rather than for like finishing off a boss. But yeah, does great damage. And he is a single target attacking Nuka. So let's check out the index and see what champions would be great for this. Um, Sathalia would be great. I mean, Ronda is great, but um, like I was saying, I was, she was just counter attacking and just killing my team. She's too much of a boss. Um, Septimus, absolute beast for this. He can just... You know, he just pops off and will just take the enemy team off one by one. So he's one of the best options for this. Uh, Richoff is okay. Uh, Kaja would be great. Raglin as well. And Baron as well. Like, if you got Baron not in stone skin, he would just, you know, just drop the boss so quickly and your team as well. Great champion. Marichka, probably not a good option because she's going to keep bringing in revives. Um, Horden can be used, actually. He's a really good option. Um, he can do the same as Septimus, just doesn't hit as hard. Um, I guess he has a little bit of advantage, though, because with Septimus, if you bring in a Magic Champion, they might survive. Where with Horden, you're probably going to have more Magic Champions, so he'll kill Magic and Spirit Champions very, very easily. Uh, Archmage, like I said, an essential champion for this. Uh, Stagnite great option um you know also brings us slow as well so that'll slow down the boss meaning you can get more turns in um ursula maybe not such a great option because she does revive but obviously if the enemy revive as well it's going to cause you up uh, cause you problems so not sacred order ogren tribes so big un, great option um, just hits like a truck. Um, and War Mother as well. Both these great champions. Uh, Ignatius. Oh, you can't use Ignatius anyway. Um, Gurktuck, big no. Gerda is a no from me. Shamrock, too much RNG. Tregol would be a no as well. Trogron, kind of a new champion. I'd say it's probably someone you don't want to bring in. Like Ugo, great option. Siege Hulk can smack. I know some people use Shadowbones actually because he brings a decreased speed as well. So he is an option. Uh, I reckon Grunch could actually be a good option as well. Brings heals, does bombs as well. So, and block buffs as well. Could block the enemy team. Uh, Grush as well, great option, like does heals, decreases damage as well. And then finally, let's just have a look at the Orcs. So I would probably avoid bringing in Kreela. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't feel like you're going to benefit too much from ally attack. Trila, again, she does do lots of heals, HP burn as well. So she could be like an option, but not, not the best. Robar, since his buff, um, could be used as your option to, you know, just drop the enemy team. Warlord, if he goes first, great option. Just lock out your clones. Uh, Raka as well and Supreme Gaelic could also be good options. Oma Gaelic, a big fat no, worst champion in the game. Uh, Drug, Tagore, I, I'd probably say no for them. Zagala, great. Seer, obviously great, putting people to sleep. And that's it, guys. That'd be all the sort of champions that I'd be looking at my champion pool to be able to do this. I hope this video has helped some of you guys out. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. 
make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe and I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.